Welcome, friends, to my battery of power 20, um, 20 amp MPPT charge controller. Um, I'm starting off with this part of the video first to show you how it's charging. I'm uh, charging it from my battery bank over here through a 24 volt converter step up. So I'm converting the 12 to 24 to give this power. And this was, this was a completely discharged battery. And it's charging it at 20 amps. 20 amps, 12 volts, that's right now 320 watts. As the voltage rises inside the battery, I believe it's going to be doing um, 14 volts times 20 amps. That's about 280 watts. And uh, so let's just peel this uh, sticker back and reveal the beauty so what's nice about this unit is that it already has uh various uh charge and uh charge protections um so technically you don't even need to put a fuse on it it's meant to be portable and it has these four little holes that you can actually attach it to a wall and charge any 12 or even a 24 volt battery what I like already with it uh, is that it has that screen showing you how many amps coming in. It can uh, pick, you could pick which kind of battery, and I mentioned that you could also do 24 volts with it. We'll check it out on the table next. So I just wanted to show you that it does work, and um, it's a decent size. And here's the back of it, and we'll see you in the next. Uh, in the next video, in the next part. All right, friends. So I'm going to make a quick overview about why I like this controller. Well, if you read on their website, it is waterproof. It is easy to connect um, with, with already a cable here. I switched it up to the Anderson connector. The Anderson connector is superior. It could do 30 amps up to 45 amps without any issues. Um, it's an efficient controller easy to mount anywhere with these little screw holes so you could uh, attach it to a wall where it's convenient for you uh, it replaces the need for circuit breakers like this because it has over circuit over voltage protection already built into it you know uh, the amounts of protections it has is an amazing amount uh, eight protections over current over temperature uh, overload uh, short circuit so what you had it with these you don't need it uh it's a lot more compact this is obviously a bigger ampage uh this is a 30 amp controller uh the victron if i was setting up i guess a system that's for the long run probably this is nice but i would probably combine the two together use victron when i want it you know depending on what i have in stock i mean i have this set up also to be very easy to connect um i have a pre-set up pre-wired this is how uh, big solar companies do it they pre-wired the equipment onto boards and then they ship it and then it just gets connected on the spot right there this uh this is a lexan it's not just polycarbonate it's high temperature point so you could just hang it up on the wall so that's the comparison you know how much uh, bigger that is that's um you know you see the difference if you want to charge one 12 volt battery with another 12 volt battery well all you need is an up voltage uh 12 volt to 24 volt converter connect this one to one end of the battery and then uh connect this to a charge controller this one can do up to 30 volts for the 12 volt battery and up to 60 volts for a 24 volt battery so I mentioned it's waterproof, it has all the protections, it's easy to splice on the connectors, uh, it's easy to connect and disconnect that way, unlike with this one, this one is designed for like to be screwed in and have all these bus bars and all this other stuff, however this is kind of like a hybrid system where I can connect the, the solar panels on this end and that, on, the, on this unit what I specifically did was I pre-wired uh three 15 amp fuses on here because let's say i want to parallel three solar panels when you put them in parallel uh that's the ideal to do it is to actually put a fuse and that's what i did so that i wouldn't have to do it later 
um, very easy to do. I love that it has a screen. That's nice. Uh, I love that it has the status bar. However, if you watch the voltage over here, the fully charged battery is like 13.5. It just got finished charging up. It's going to drop down to 13.5. However, it's still going to be, let's say, 80 to 100%. Uh, it charges the battery at about 14.4 volts to get it charged up. And uh, it could do, I believe, between 280 and 300 watts. Um, probably you could use... I would use personally with this uh, controller two 400 watt solar panels. So you could get, um, because most of the time for me, at least personally, the 200 watt solar panels here, at least in New York, uh, don't produce more than 140, 150 watts. 140, 150 times two is what? 280, 300 watts. So the, that's the ideal. You could quickly connect this into your battery and charge it up and then uh, uh, connect one of these guys, let's say a 24 volt converter to this battery and connect this to your, let's say solar generator. But beware, it depends on the solar generator. So some of the big ones can uh, drag up to a thousand watts. So you don't wanna uh, take a, a wire that is 12 volts uh, up to 30 amps and run for a thousand watts, there'll be a hundred amps through this. The, the wire is gonna like get burned up, which is not good. So it depends on the solar generator. So probably rule of thumb, probably 600 watts up to a thousand watt solar generator you could probably use. Uh, especially I have an UPES, 1000 watt. Uh, it charges only maximum 200 watts an hour. So you have to watch what you're connecting on this end if you're gonna up voltage it. Um, and this is the way that you can uh, charge a, a 12 volt battery with the 12 volt battery by raising up the voltage. This one takes the higher voltage and then steps it down to the 14.2 volts to charge the uh, lithium iron phosphate battery. So overall, this is a great unit. It's great for portability. It's great for connecting a whole bunch of batteries. Uh, the, I believe the price is reasonable. There's a Bluetooth version. However, I'm against uh, Wi-Fi and wireless connections because A, they take up electricity. So um, do I need my uh, Wi-Fi signal being broadcast from my unit 24-7? I don't think so. For me, I personally don't. Uh, you could do whatever you want. However, I believe that we are affected by uh, electric waves and uh, especially Bluetooth. And if you could minimize those, that's probably better. And plus, you could always look at the screen over here. The screen it tells you what the voltage is and how many amps are coming in. That's pretty much all you need from the controller. The, of course, the Victron, if you connect it through their proprietary wire, you know, if it's a USB wire, it's gonna be like $25. Uh, you could use their software and you could get statistics about how much uh, total, uh, you know, charge came into this unit over the, let's say, past 24 hours, a week, up to a month or something like that. Uh, however, with this, you just see what's uh, literally is coming in right now on the screen. However, I wish they would have put this little cheap little screen on this unit that would have made this unit so much better because uh, sometimes you just want to see how many amps is coming in. Um, however, you know, Victor Blue Solar, uh, Blue Solar, by the way, is the one that's without a Bluetooth on it. They, they, you, they have a Smart Solar and a Blue Solar. That's the one without the Bluetooth. I'm, you know, not for Bluetooth. My iPad is connected with a USB-C wire with networking capability. So... Uh, I live the, I live what I say. <sighs> so overall, this is nice. Um, it's nice that you could do the 20 amps, so up to 300 watts. And obviously, you're not limited to that. I mean, uh, the battery, if you just have one battery, uh, usually they tell you not to charge it more than 50 to 80 amps, something like that. Um, so, but you could put several of these on. Several of these on with a couple... Uh, 200 watt solar panels and you're set um i'm gonna link you to all this below uh the battery of power.com probably website sometimes might be cheaper sometimes amazon might be same price or cheaper amazon is probably convenient but it's probably all coming from the same place i've ordered directly from their website before very quick service very very nice uh of course there's a bluetooth version i don't use the bluetooth version i don't care about apps I don't feel like sitting on the phone to see how much amps is coming in. 
uh, and uh, just really look into it. I have a whole video about, uh, you know, signals and stuff like that. So it's waterproof, it's convenient, it's easy to use. Um, I can't really say much more better things about it. And it's, it's a charge controller. It's an MPPT charge controller, well made. I like what they did with this unit and I'm wishing them the best of luck. Um, below are Amazon affiliate links if you click on some of the stuff. Um, I try to link as much stuff as possible because you're listening to this in order to learn what, what might work for you and to link it to you and make it easier for you. That's personally how I would want it done for me. You know, there's a lot of people reviewing things on, on YouTube and they don't put a link to the product. Why? I, I, I don't understand it. Well, maybe it's because they got it for free. I actually had to spend my own money on this, uh, which is which I'm happy to do because I bought this for myself. And now I'm just making this video to share this with you. So let's do a win-win. Thumb up the video. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Uh, and yeah, and everything is linked below. Um, I wish you a great day. And I hope you find what, what you're looking to do. And uh, I hope it works out. Talk soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.